Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, but this isn't my Switch. No, it's not his island either. Haha. <laughs> uh, my friend Leo is back here with me again to, well, show off his island and hunt for a new villager for his town. So yeah, I'm yeah. kind of letting him show off his town first. Yeah, so, um, so I, I was telling Ray um, that this particular day I had... Uh, I had let go of one of my earlier villagers, who was a starting one. And not only was I going to go ahead and hunt for a replacement villager, but I just so happened to have one landed in my campground this morning as well. I was on earlier doing uh, trade stuff, so that's why you don't see Isabel screening you the, uh, today. But we are going to go... This is, this is my house at Tanaka Bay. Yeah. And we will, uh, go, we will go see who our strange new villager is. Yeah. And see how that's going. So I have Agnes and a Cherry. There is two cherries in the game. One that's a cub and one that's a dog. I have the cub one. Yep. So I'm not showing off my town yet because it's still a bit of a work in progress. Because mm -hmm. I've had villagers come and go ad nauseum since the last episode I did, I think. A while back. I was actually supposed to do a video for my birthday, but I just didn't feel good about how my town looked mm -hmm. just yet. So I'm thinking what my plans are for this for this series, now that it's kind of been on a hiatus for a little bit, is to do a bit of a monthly update where it'll serve as a bit of a status update for like the channel and show off the town and stuff like that. Nothing super serious, nothing super intensive. But also show off the uh, events if you ever get them. So like if there's a, uh, like for the fireworks, for example. Right, I, I could have done that, but uh. Anyway, let's go, let's uh, drum roll please. Actually, I need to pick up this stray flower. <laughs> and this fossil over here. I'm very, uh, I'm very conscious of making sure that I clean up my island whenever I go through it. Meanwhile, I'm actively putting weeds in my town. Right. <laughs> anyway, drum roll, please. And let's see who the first villager is. See if we're going to have to end up island hopping. We'll see who we end up getting. And the first option is... I do not know who you are. Kitty. Well, isn't that obvious? <laughs> I think she's a snooty villager? Yeah, she does. She has the snooty text for her. I have two snooty villagers. Gwen, uh, the penguin, and Diana the doe. Ah. So yes, this I can tell snooty text when I see one. Which is nice, but not what I'm looking for today. Right. So I hope you got some Nook Miles tickets. Oh, do I have Nook Miles tickets? I... I brought out the whole the the whole the whole stock for this. Oh, okay. We might be here for a while. Yes. Yeah, so, um, we'll probably end up just cutting to every time I encounter a villager just to save it because I'm also that guy who will clean the island who will clean the island before moving onward. Oh, um, some landmarks I should show off before we continue on. Yeah, show off your island just a little bit before so, we head out. The flag that I, I'm currently using for Tanaka Bay. Ah, cool. I probably will be changing that for the season probably tomorrow in the near future. I have the country band, <laughs> which is just basically where I, we could, where I play music and have the villagers come out. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, favorite song of all time probably is K.K. Jangara. Yeah, that's, that's a damn good song. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't realize the DJ table was also a music player. There's a lot of things that are music players. But um, the museum with uh, Sphinx and Stonehenge on the outside. Nice, nice. Uh, come down this little side street and we end up at Nook's Cranny. A little rest area with garden and... Stumps for your stumps bug for collecting. Bugs. The beaches. I still need to get one of those hearths. Do you have a recipe for that or was that a gift? I think that's a recipe. We can quickly check. Uh, butter churn. <laughs> uh, it would probably be in steel stuff. It would probably be in steel, yeah. Um, I think it was a purchasable item. I might be able to just send it to you. Okay. Um, yeah, we can check that later. I have a, sh a snaggle ton of, uh, of do-it-yourself recipes. I don't think... 
Okay, I might need to stop by and pick them. I, most of it's just basic level stuff, honestly, but... I'd recommend you just sell them if it's basic stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um... Get got it. the go golden spot for a uh, money tree. Alright. Gonna have to find a place to put that. Oh, that that's in the square above where the the music center is. Oh. That's where those four trees in the or three trees in the square. Yeah. Those are my money trees. Okay. So since since the money trees rotate, and you can only have possibly four at a time unless you uh, you can only have up to four at a time max. So that's how that ends up working. Yeah, that's usually how it ends up for me. Uh, sect spare lily garden. I'll clean that up later. Crossing the bridge to the Able Sisters. Alright. You've cut the Leaning Tower, too. Yep, Leaning Tower and a, uh... Teacup, right? Teacup, right? And this is my favorite villager of all time, Rex. Of or one of my favorites. He's a lazy villager, isn't he? Yes, he is. He was the third villager I ever recruited. <laughs> Alright. I'll probably hit my, uh, villager cap on that. Alright. Um, let's see here. Wave breakers, balls... Alright. This is, uh, I can't remember what her name is. Uh, Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe. I, yeah. I actually, I think I told you this. I had her in my first New Leaf town. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I had her along with uh, Roscoe in my town. Yeah, she was a newer addition. I think I let Sandy go, also because she was a starter villager. Who, um, you know, uh, as good, as nice as the starter villagers are, uh, their houses don't really comp don't let you have them. Well, oh, hello. Oh, hi. We'll yeah. come back for you later. Yeah. Our, our I, plan today was to show we'll off. Show off the island and villagers. So I don't know what I'm doing up here right now. Here's where the satellite is, so we can get service. Yeah. Uh, I have this like little forest square right here. Have you been shaking trees for uh, pine cones I and have, acorns? I have been. Um, I kind of cleared the pine trees out of this area, so that way it's more uh, scenic uh, or scenic friendly. It's a great. It's a great. Um, Maybe you could put some of the uh, constellation recipes up there for like stargazing. Yeah, those I should put up there. But I have most of most of what I've been getting is the uh, is the constellation uh, furniture. Oh yeah, the zodiac furniture. The zodiac furniture. So that's mostly where all that's going. This is my this is my apple orchard. All the fruit trees are located in centralized areas. So you saw earlier we um, going up towards the um, the bridge was uh, the yep the oranges, mm -hmm. and then going up uh, behind the campsite was pears. Right. All right. So this is the apple orchard, and the cherry one is down here. I'm not as obsessed with making orchards as I used to be, because in New Leaf there was the potential to have a perfect fruit variety of your of your local variety, mm -hmm. and those would would get would net you a lot of money if you sold them in other towns that weren't your native fruit. They they would. I understand it was more lucrative than turnips. Pretty much, because because um, turnips were so fluctuating. If you had a friend who had who had the op who had a different fruit than you, and you could just visit them and just go nuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my other favorite uh, villager, Rory. Rory? Yes. As of now, he's the only jock in the village. In the village. I don't have a jock in my town. Oh, oh he's having a recipe. And there we go. All right, big Alfred, need something? Oh, good Rory. What uh, you do? You're not gonna believe it. I made a pear rug. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. I don't even think this island's a mile. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out and stay hydrated. Whoa! When did you learn to make a pear rug? I don't remember. Figures. Well, keep working that brain muscle. I want to see what you can do. Capital. Actually, you know what would be really cool? If everyone could make a pear rug. Here, take this recipe and share it around. Oh, Bella. This is so dorky. But then oh. again, I voice all my characters, too. So. Oh, uh, ignore the sweat stains. Those aren't part of the recipe. Oh, for fuck. He is a jock! I know, I know. I had Billy for the longest time. Mm-hmm. And then... I should look for a new jock for my town. Sadly, I will inform you there are no wolf jocks. I know. 
mostly jocks end up either being grumps or something else. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, they either end up being grumps or snooty, from what I can tell. Yes. Uh, that covers most of the uh, attractions. We've got a we're open sign because my house. We'll go into my house real quick. But uh, my house, the main room is a uh, is a diner aesthetic. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You showed me this before. Yes. So we will quickly briefly show. stop in here so I can swap out my so I can empty my stuff. So because I have plenty of of. Uh, stuff that I'm not going to need in for the coming trip. Those were your tickets, dude. Yes, I know. I have one ticket on me. I will grab more quickly, but I don't need so many. Alright. Well, you're... you're uh, oh yeah, you can't plant... You can't put those in storage. That's bullshit, if yeah. you ask me. Yeah, well, I think I know why, but anyway, just... Dropping some stuff off, I'll probably sell them later. You keep your inventory surprisingly empty. Oh no, right now it is packed. Oh, the oh, you mean my on my person? Yeah, I do keep that. It's very scarce. Yeah. Especially when I do island hopping because I I harvest the entire island practically. Oh boy. So yeah, look at how much inventory I have. Fifteen sixty one out of six hundred. Yeah, it's about the same as mine. Six hundred. Yeah, I, I need to sell stuff at, in a bit. I'll put that there, and I'll put this over. I'll put this over by um, my do-it-yourself recipes. All right. And then we will begin island hopping, and from that point we'll just be uh, derping around. We'll be we'll be snap cutting between islands to. Just go over the reveal of each villager. Sure thing. Alright. Okay, so just gotta drop this off. Um, other ones, the other interesting tit bits, if it would let me select. There you go. Um, so, uh, have you talked about the recruiting villager system in the past? Um, I might have. I'm still kind of wondering about it. I know I've I've shown off uh, some villagers that I've recruited and the like, but most of the time it was off camera. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll probably at least show off what some of that villager dialogue looks like again. Yeah. But uh, in case you haven't given up one of your villagers before because you feel guilty about letting them go, yeah. like me, um, villagers will sometimes ask you if they want to leave. You don't have to abuse them to make them leave, but sometimes it's just a matter of it's a... 5 to 15 day cooldown timer if you don't talk to them or even if you do talk to them. Right. I've currently been looking at uh, possibly booting out Renee mm -hmm. because I I wanted to, to see what she was like as a new villager, but I'm... She's not my favorite. Yeah. Uh, so I've been kind of hoping that maybe I can give her to a friend of mine who has been clamoring for her. You mean simping for her? Yes, yeah, simping. <laughs> yeah, they're simping. Uh, but... Yeah, because then I could use one of my cards for another villager, maybe. Right, and it, and they are printing new cards, which is going to be interesting to see how that comes out. Oh god, hopefully it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, we've gone ahead and worked for our force... Force, really? First. First, Nook I Island. So, let's, so the way this works is that once you have a vacancy... Uh, either by booting them out forcefully or waiting for them to go, you can go through, you, you can either wait for a camper to show up and invite them, or you can go visit someone on a Nook Island as you would before. Right. Looks like we've got a penguin. Yep. Oh, I believe that's Gwen? No, I already have Gwen. I mean, she... We will we will introduce ourselves to her in a bit after we start doing some local go gardening. Well, Actually, I'll do I'll go see her first. Then we can do the gardening off camera. Probably a good idea. I think from the way she looks, I can tell she's probably going to be snooty. Oh yeah, penguins are surprisingly snooty. I confess, I thought I would never run into anyone else here. I was starting to feel like a castaway. I did a sorry. Thing. Then there you were. What a relief. She looks kind of cute. Anyway, I'm Frigga. It's a pleasure to meet you, dearie. Oh dear lord. So if you're all the way from visiting Tanaka Bay, are you? Lovely. 
Well, I do hope this island lives up to our expectations. I suppose there's only one way to find it. I hope I didn't just invite her from the dialogue. It usually doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. You had to talk to her a second time. Okay. I already have two penguins on here. I have, I have uh, Gwen, who, who, uh, who I talked to earlier, and then there was Tex, who I did not see. Hmm. Or didn't interact with. I think he was in the bottom corner around the time we talked with. But uh, I have plenty of penguins, and again, I am not looking for Snooty right now. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll uh, snap back to the next island in a moment. We're supposed to check for villagers. I know, but a sh if, if it's a whale fish... I know. What, what, do you, what do you want me to do? Fair enough, fair enough. I'd probably be doing the same thing. This kind of sucks I can't join you on these island hops. Yeah, I will just let everyone know that I am not doing this by... HA! I called it! Thank you for peeking the mic, Jesus Christ. The whale shark, I'm telling you, it was this big. No shit, Sherlock. And then suddenly disappears in your pockets. Yep. Alright, nothing on this side. Let's check the other side. Okay. No trinkets there. Sheesh, where's the villager? Yeah, <laughs> on top. The, the, this one is notorious for having you eating the ladder. Alright. To get up there. So, and requiring the, uh, oh, it's a hippo. Pink one. Or pink elephants, not pink hippos. Alright. Alright, let's go check her out. You keep getting away from her! You're you're kind of annoying, Biddy. Right. Well, there's a fresh face. Are you visiting from another island as well? Of course you are. Well, my friends call me Biddy, and you are? Theo, all the way from Taiwan, baby. Isn't that fascinating? Well, we're really only here a short time, but I do hope we get to know each other better. I got phone out to see. You don't, know, you don't know this about me yet, but I'm always down to dish, darling. Okay, she's snooty. You're you're just a trap in the snooty ones. I feel like that's commentary for how how uh, how lawyers get um, get it, get uh, attract uh, gold diggers. Typically. <laughs> well, that ain't happened yet. You haven't got you haven't passed the bar yet. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, but yeah, let me just double check to confirm. Biddy, Animal Crossing. Yep, she's snooty. She's, yep. she's snooty as heck. You were gonna say snootin'. That is an entirely different genre. I have no idea what you're talking I about. I have no idea what I'm talking about either. Alright. Anyway, that is definitely a no-go for us, so we are going to peace out of this island, and we will go to a new one. Alright. See you in a moment, guys. Woo! Oh! Now this one looks promising. Ooh, a star. Winnie! Oh, I didn't expect anyone on this island. Nice to meet you! I'm Winnie! You're from Tanaka Bay? I'm Totes! Oh, she's a preppy one. Yeah, she's a pepper. I to I've Totes heard of somebody Trey is cool who's from there. Maybe you know them? Their name is Leo? Oh, that's you? Wow! Celebrities on one island! Oh, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still sad. Yeah, she's a... I believe she's a new one. Really? Oh wait, no, she's an old one. She was absent from Wild World and returns to City Phone. Okay. So she was an OG. Wow, animal. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah, she's happy. Yeah. So, are you interested in her? I mean, she it's nice. Not, like, outstanding, but nice. She's got a little star on her forehead. Yeah, that's the part that I thought was cute, but, um... I think we could do better. Sorry, Winnie. Just not this time. Aww. Nope, let me get out my, uh, my pole. Alright. <laughs> and we will go ahead and return shortly. Ooh, bottle! <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see what this one is. Let's see. You, I have good luck with these. Alright, Leonardo. From Leonardo. A trophy case! Ooh, that's perfect! I don't think I have that. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Um, new... new... Go all the way to the top. Ooh, that's lovely. 
Hardwood, three gold, gold nuggets, nuggets and, and six iron nuggets. Huh. Twenty-four hardwood though. Yeah. That'll burn through your reserves if you if you if you want to if you want to do that. Yeah. But you still need six gold to make it even so. Yeah. This, oh, this one's gonna be all the way at the top. Yeah, this is the uh, rock top, uh, top island. Well, I better go ahead and do the rock while I'm here. Oh well, you're you're a ball of fun, aren't you? Who are you? Maple! Oh, I thought Bia be the only one in this turret. She's a preppy one, too. Did you really come here all the way from Tanaka Bay? I think I flew past Tanaka Bay once. It looked pretty from the air. She might be normal. I think she might be normal, too, yeah. Uh, I'm do, you, gonna... do you have a normal villager? Uh, Sandy was my normal villager, so actually she'd be a good replacement. Maple, uh, Animal Crossing... I think... Uh... Yeah, normal cub. Okay. Yeah, I would say she's worth it. You want to grab her? I'll grab her as soon as I, I mine for ore. Alright, fair enough. Well, I, actually, why don't I grab her, then mine for her, and we can call it a day from there. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So, let's go ahead and say hello. It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. But, um, Tish. <laughs> this change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island. It's well enough, but... I like it well enough, but... Move to my island. Oh wow, that's such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island, unless you were just teasing me. Do you really mean it, honey? Of course, you'll love it there. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook about relocating, honey. Better do that before I forget. She's adorable. Yeah. Alright, we got your villager. Yes. She kind of reminds me of a teddy ursa. She, she does look like a straight up teddy bear. Yeah. Plus the festive uh the festive sweater is going to be very appropriate in a few months. Yeah, it is. Alright, we got your new villager. Yep. Call that a mission accomplished. Alright, let's you gather up the rest of your stuff and then I'll go ahead we'll cut back to when we get back to the island. Yep. Alright, see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Alright, we are back, and that has been an excursion with Leo. Yeah, it has been. So, why don't you go off and show the rest of your house, and then we'll call it here. Sure, I can go ahead and do that. Because we've that... seen the diner, we haven't seen everything else. Sure. Plus, I need to unload all this stuff in my house anyway. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Very nice red retro diner. Yep. No. Butterfingers. So... Oh, you've got the uh, mom's cake in here as well. Yes. I kept it from when I got it for her birthday. Did you save the cupcakes as well? I gave the cupcakes to everyone. Really? Yes. I thought that's what you were supposed to do. Ah. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking, because I still have mine in my house. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go look at the bathroom. I believe you were doing a Zodiac bathroom? Kind of. It, it, it's just a white bathroom with some more Zodiac stuff. Yeah, it looks very good. Mm -hmm. I got the scales, I got the Gemini uh, uh, wardrobe, uh, Virgo harp, uh, Leo statuette, Taurus bath, Taurus bath. I think I'm missing the Cancer stuff and the Aries stuff. Yeah. The, uh... Oh, and the wash, washing machine and circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because I've been working on getting every single uh, Celestial thing. Yeah, that's gonna... We're gonna have to at least wait till uh, the next Cancer season comes around. Mm-hmm. So let's see. What was this room again? Oh yeah, you're. Uh... This is the this is the living room, as it were. Oh hey, you actually moved the table. Yes. Told you you had room. Yeah. But yeah, I really love this glow in the dark wallpaper. Yep. And you can see Hans over in the corner. Hans. Yes. The skeleton. Yes. You named the skeleton Hans. Yeah, that's what I call, that's what I named him. He hates it when I call him that, though. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, 
Actually, my laugh there almost sounded like a certain other skeleton. <laughs> yes. Uh, over here we have the bamboo room. Ah, very lovely. You'll, mm -hmm. you'll never hear me complain about this aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Seriously, if I could, I'd probably do an actual room in my house like this. Probably just without the without all the cherry petals on the floor. I imagine that would just get messy after a while. Right. I mean, by then I'd actually use like actual bamboo hardwood floor, like what is actually in my house. There you go. Uh, upstairs. All right. Is your imperial bedroom? Yep. Workout room. Workout area, bookcase, switch, incense, violin, computer setup, and yeah. then TV and changing wardrobe. Very nice. Mm -hmm. This definitely feels, this definitely has your sort of aesthetic, dude. Yep. Oh, and then man. we just have to go downstairs for the last room. Alrighty. <coughs> oh, sorry. Alright. And this is my D&D room. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, I, using some custom uh, skins from the internet, I have a book here that's basically a player's handbook. Or a player's stat sheet. Which is actually pretty cool if you ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the, the, uh, the posters <laughs> of, of Islanders who I would say would be my player characters. Uh, Critical Role and D&D poster. Of course. And then the magazine racks here actually have uh, the covers for the Dungeon Master, for the Dungeon Master's Guide, and, not the Dungeon Master, the Player's Handbook, and Xanathar's, and Xanathar's Guide to Everything, the Supplementary Handbook. Yeah, uh, fun fact, Leo's actually my DM for, uh, has been my DM for, uh, several, uh, campaigns. Yep. And so here's just, like, the board, uh, the, the game room. board. Uh, pinball. pinball in between sessions. Cooler and freezer for snacks. Changing room if people want to dress up and LARP. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. Which is very nice. <laughs> Even though that's like a basketball thing on the uh, whiteboard and pictures, yes. like that's just... No, that's the, yeah, that's the tactics map, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that's been my island. So hopefully we I will have a good time with uh, my new villager. And I would hope Ray is going to have a fantastic time on their island. Yeah, so this was an episode for me to show off Leo's island and stuff. In the next episode, hopefully my island will be looking a little bit more presentable. And you will have spooky, scary skeleton time for Halloween. Yeah, here's hoping for that. So in the, in the next, uh, until next time, this is Ray Moonwolf. And this is Leo. Signing out. Bye. Later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>